sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Uh... Emmett? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You tend to the reaction. I'll try to get rid of him. Tend to the... what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late. The reaction's already started. Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. But... Uh, coming, father! Father! Don't you father me, child! I want to what do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start! You don't know what to call it. You don't know Someday you are going to know. You will have to learn. You will learn. I don't know what's eating you, Father, but I wish it would go on a diet. There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. You don't know what to call it. Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Damn it! Get back here! Oops. <laughs> You're going to find out. Stop being such a crank! I hope someday you have children. If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. You are going to find out. Maybe I could just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? I hope someday you have children and you will look at all. You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. <laughs> Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me! <laughs> You're going to find out. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? I hope someday you have children and you will look for the law. Law may be your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. My blood pressure. I have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. I hope someday you have children and you will look for the law. The hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. When you get older, I hope so. Ah, halfway there. Damn it! Keep up the good work. You're pressuring me to be something I'm not. I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas. What did you do? Emmett, who are you talking to in there? No, no one, father. This isn't food for thought, Pop. 
It's Grawl! What are they feeding you in that school of yours? You look like a skeleton! Hey! You can you name one great thing ever generated by a lawyer. Damn it! You got to... Yes. You don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. Stop getting so hot under the collar, Pop. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? <laughs> Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I said it. <laughs> Almost there. Inmate! Uh, coming, father! Uh, Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas! Uh, you don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me! Uh, How many times do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticism? Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? I... My Galileo's rotations. Do you ever listen to yourself? There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook father. Pressuring me to be something I'm not. Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. You really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? Uh, I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. Are you okay? You and your dad sounded... It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... Eureka! Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill and you and I can- I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the, the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Michael, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Oh, in about, I'd say... I, I can't. Huh? Emmett, I I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's somebody who's in big trouble. Someone very important to me, to, to both of us. I, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. I'll get it back to you, I, I promise. And, Emmett, you're gonna be a great inventor. Wait! Keep the throttle at about eight. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Come on, start! Too 
late. The doc's not supposed to be. Doc! They're moving him to another facility for safekeeping. Oh, I better go get a quote from the police chief. Paddy wagon intercepted, suspect slain, and they're still after him. But how am I gonna rescue him now? Hmm, at least the rocket part came out of this in one piece. I don't think so. The window shut.
keys are on the dashboard, but I can't reach them. You need a protection of pertinence. What? A reach extender. Kit Tannen's driving the truck. Kit Tannen? That explains a lot. I need a distraction. Leave it to me. Hey, driver. driving too fast. Watch how you take those curves. What are you trying to do? Kill me? Not quick enough. Can you distract him again? No oh, problem. Hey, driver. I demand to know where you're taking me, and how long is it going to be till we get there? And I want to see my lord. I object to your tone of voice, and I find this seat distinctly uncomfortable. You have a pillow I can sit on. Hey, I'm talking to you, driver. Don't ignore me. You. Thanks, Doc. I guess that's why they call you the street. How did you know that? I have my sources. Stand back, Doc. Ow! Son of a bitch! Fine. But I wonder what sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. Did you know that would happen? I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. So, what do we do now? Now we get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, uh, but I think you've got bigger problems right now. Great Scott! 